to darkness incarnate we search for the holiness in our damned souls of this echoing desert of pain and suffering we are the vampire welcome everybody my name is Strife and today that's right we are playing as Dr. Jonathan Reed the man known as vampire Also, this church is church is goddamn far away. Oh, curious blood trails, splatters. Is that a hideout? It's a hideout. All right. Hey, what's your hideout? Points, points for, uh, to actually do anything about that. Yeah, okay. All right, so we got we got the screws and we got the other stuff. How about we just upgrade it? Oh, we can actually upgrade even further more. Oh, that's so cool. Reload time. I don't know if these actually count. Increase the rate of fire. Stop. A little bit extra damage. Much better. Damn it! We don't got the handle for the epic one. Can we upgrade this one? Ah, shoot. We can't upgrade that one. Well, we can upgrade this one, though. Does at some point has stun? Nope. Stamina. 13 and a half. Oh, you guys are assholes. I can actually upgrade that, right? Got a bunch of these salts. Not actually a bad one. Alright, so this one is also good. But it's kind of sad I can't upgrade my knife any further. Hand weapon. I mean, this does not burn. I don't we use the never mind. Uh, I need to make more of these. There's a guy here? How do I get to that guy? Maybe from here? Nope. Is that a part of town? It's a quarantine place. Oh no, it's not really there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the one? Oh, actually two of them. Got a blinker.
Whoa. Where did you guys come from? Whoa. Keep on coming. Bro. I still get hit. I don't like that. What the hell? Dude, stop getting stuck. Oh, for fuck's sake, I pressed the goddamn space button. You guys are pissing me off. Why am I running? Hello, sir. Sorry to disturb you at this hour. I'm a doctor inquiring about the epidemic. May I come in? A doctor, you say? No, thank you. All right. Well. So I don't know no more of these things. Oh. Yes. Let's go down. Oh, that's and off did Shirchi goes. A newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn, you reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Shed your skin. Forget your old, weaker self. What do you want from me? Oh, he big. Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. That's cool. So basically, these immortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. So basically, I think if you break too much the laws and basically kill a lot of people, you may end up chased by this guy, which is one of the things that probably will make this game harder. That's cool. These guys are fighting there. Best be your phone. Are you deaf? Best I am to step back. Get in with us. Far as this goddamn reach. Away with you. Uh mm -hmm. Oh wow, it actually drains a lot of everything. Ah, you son of a singing guy. You are gonna give me that blood back. Even if I have to take it from Demon! 
Let's be down here. This man stunned me with his face. With his, his crucifix. <laughs> this is not good news. What the hell? Take your breath and is! Oh, I would love to, but... Change the weapon as well. No. All of this happens right there next to these people. And they couldn't care less. Low distress. Five thousand. Can you imagine you actually being able to request five mesmer here? Hello again, Camilla. Melia, I know you work for Dorothy Craig. Sorry. Please tell me about her secret dispensary. Hmm. A stubborn and mute comrade. Nurse Crane and Darius Petrescu have been clever. Very well. Very well. Goodbye, then. I guess we can't get anything out of her. And here we are at the church. Knock, knock, knock. Yes? What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know... May I help you, child? You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. You seem to me a good soul, Vicar, but this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel, for I can be as silent as stone. I've words for one departed. They're not for living ears to hear. Your eyes burn with rage, yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? She was my sister. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? Hmm. She was murdered. She was murdered. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? I feel responsible. The pain is consuming me. I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What words would you like to say to your poor sister? I killed you. There's no excuse. My dear Mary, forgive me. You have been heard, my son. And your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted. No 
Yeah, that's not how it works, <laughs> but still. Edgar swells at the hospital. There. I confessed to that vicar. Yeah, but still. Do I feel better? Only time will tell. going on in this place well guys i think i'm actually gonna cut this one even shorter uh thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and yeah be seeing you soon